things on site. What the hell did we walk into in this episode of Grandia? One pill makes you larger, and one pill makes you small. But the pills that mother gave you didn't do anything at all. Just ask Alice when she's ten feet tall. <laughs> oh, God. Meep. No, oh, yeah, there's a mana egg around here somewhere that we don't really need, but we're gonna grab anyway because screw it, why not? Warp space. Uh, was that. Was that a bunch of cells? And what the heck are you? I thought it was gonna attack us. I thought so too. Does this go anywhere? Oh, that just takes us out. I'm frightened. They did not prepare me for this! They really didn't! What the hell is that? Ow! What the- Oh, it's Cactus Dudes. Okay. It's the fake Cactuars. Alright, what's in the- Oh good, it's a teleport maze. This is- this is fine. This is fine. What the? Okay, that's uh, uh certainly a thing. What the cat centaurs? Oh, so we're we're fighting Lionel from Legend of Zelda, got it. Sphinx. Not if I have anything to say about it. King Tut say to the Sphinx! I want my mummy! Born in Cal born in Babylonia, moved to Caledonia, King Tut. <laughs> Funky Tut. Oh, wind twist like a tornado! I may have to post that in the server now. Yes, everybody needs to see the magic that is Steve Martin. Mm -hmm. I know that's the one my parents love to uh, quote. That and the wild and crazy guys. Steve ah! Martin is a very clever man and actually a pretty skilled musician, too. Yes. A warp staff. Except I don't think anybody here can use a staff. Like, I think staffs are technically clubs, so I think Justin can use it, and one of the, one of the, uh, fair party members, I think, can also potentially use it. Hmm. We're being attacked by single-cell organisms. We always are being attacked by single-cell organisms. Oh.
This is such a weird section of the game. <laughs> I know. Like the every pacing. Si yeah. <laughs> the pacing for this game is so weird because, like, for for like the first disc, and for a little bit of the second disc, there is absolutely no plot. You're just kind of going places for no good reason. Uh -huh. The second disc suddenly there is plot well beyond the point that you would care about plot, and, like, weird things are happening, and it's not really well explained. Like, it's not bad, it's just very odd. Yeah! Also, you know, the, the story kind of, the, the landscape was kind of making sense, because it's like, Okay, we went from a village, and there was a mine that was close by, okay. And then we went over the ocean, okay. There was another village, okay. We're heading into some forest areas, and then we're heading to a jungle area eventually. Okay, it all feels like, you know, it's progressively just the same thing. And then even before this, it was like, oh, it's a petrified forest. It's still kind of weird, but it, it kind of feels like it fits. Then we just get into just literal cat drug land. Where did this come from? Not bad, eh? How is this a natural progression? Like, like I was expecting like a wrecked village with like zombies, not, not a uh, cat drug land. Okay. Do, do we care that much about the mana egg? I know there's an achievement if we get them all. Uh, I may go back and get it later if I ha want to, but... Oh, well, it's I... the cow, man. I don't know what section of the village it's in is the thing. Yeah, that's the problem. They don't exactly explain everything. Uh, did it say which one? Did it say, like, one or two or anything? It just said Abandoned Lane Village. That's not helpful. <laughs> no, no, but it's not. That is smush. Stormy used body plan. If that's what Stormy would look like, I don't want to see it uh, naked. Well, I just had a horrible thought. Oh no. So, how do Starmies breed? Um, in. If I remember right, they're All right, a genderless Pokemon, so you need Ditto to breed them. If I remember right. But how does it work? Ditto magic. I see that bread. I see that gold. Oh. Okay. Uh. Okay, that takes us back up to what? Ogre Helm. All right, let's see what you got. Not as good as my death mask. It also doesn't have horns, how dare. Uh, it lowers my movement badly, though. Oh, you can wear it, but again, it lowers the, the movement badly. Yeah. I don't want to take that risk. More gold. What is even happening anymore? 
What? Is this real life? Prime rib! Ooh. Seriously, the game really didn't mentally prepare us for this. No! It's like, we... oh yeah, bad, bad things happened in the village and we had to abandon it. Okay, like a fire or monster attacks, sure. But suddenly there's an Eldridge location here. Yeah. Not like... Suddenly, we took a shitload of hash brownies, and now we're here. Okay, so that... That was where we came in. Yeah. I think that's where we came in, yeah. Yeah, yeah you better <laughs> run! <laughs> I'll mess you up! I'll make you s see slug instead of a sea star. I was like, how dare, I'm the star here. You are the star here. Haha, <laughs> -ha, you can't magic now. Oh, it's, it's vibrating, great. Why does everything have to vibrate? <laughs> This is the place where you say, I'm not drunk enough for this. <laughs> There's no amount of drunk for this, that's okay. Yeah! That is smoosh or squish. Does it just makes all those weird noises? Aha, you are silenced for good now. Go to whatever weird depths of hell you belong in. Sorry, monster, you don't belong in this world. It was not by my hand that I am once again given flesh. Do I even have flesh? I don't even know. Okay, so don't go through the uh, gate this time. Go. I didn't direction. go through the gate. I went through up the stairs, didn't I? No, you oh. went through the gate. Oh, okay. Oh, well, we got more sphinxes and more doors. Good. Life has many doors, eh, boy! Oh, God. 